everyone, welcome to A Clary Tale. It is the start of a very exciting travel day. We are going to Denmark and Sweden on this trip. I'm so excited. We're here at the car park. We pre-booked our car for this car park. We're in the sort of long stay car park at Manchester Airport. It was a lot cheaper than getting a taxi both ways and at least we've got the comfort of our own car and we can go straight back to it. So we just pre-booked on the website and it recognised the reg plate as we came in so it was so easy and Terminal 1 is right here so we're just getting the lift down to it now. So this is where we pre-booked to park. This is actually the drop-off where we would usually come where my family would maybe drop us off and then this is the terminal. So this is a really special trip because I'm here with my mum, my dad and Simon because it is my mum's birthday. It's a very special birthday. I'm not going to say what it is. She definitely won't let me do that. <laughs> um, but we're going to Copenhagen to celebrate and then the day after her birthday we are going to Malmo in Sweden so should be a really fun visit but these are two countries we've never been before we're gonna do all the food just embrace all the culture and just learn so much I'm so excited come along with us let's go to all these new places So that was all really quick and smooth, that check-in, because we had the Ryanair app where we had all our COVID certificates already uploaded. So it just meant that all they did was check our boarding pass and passport. So it went really, really quickly. We dropped our two bags off. We did one suitcase per couple, because we're, we're only there four days, so we didn't need too much stuff. Now we're going to go through security. in Denmark. <laughs> Look at these smiling faces. <laughs> and they're on the floor too. That's so funny. <laughs> this airport is so clean and beautiful. Oh. <laughs> just two hours long so really short I it's so short that it makes me think why have we not done this before it's so close I showed you on the map there Denmark and Sweden it's just so close to us and um, as we flew in we saw the famous bridge that connects Sweden and Denmark so we're gonna be going on that uh, in a couple of days time in two days time that was cool to see. Just about to grab our luggage and then we are heading to get 
the taxi. We wanted to just get the taxi, it's so much easier. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than the train, but just when we don't really know where we're going, what we're doing, we just wanted to get a taxi straight to the hotel. So we've just come out of here and we're going straight into here for the taxi. Here it is, the taxi stop. So we've just got out the taxi at the Scandic Copenhagen and this is where we are staying for the next three nights. It's very nice actually, I'll take you in in a second. How cool is this? So far, just that drive around the streets here, everything is just so clean and gorgeous. I can't wait to explore. We've got a little um, mermaid statue here in the lobby of the hotel. How nice is it in here? I love all the lights. How cool. So, mum and dad are in that room. Um, the taxi drive took just under 20 minutes and it was 315 krona um, which works out about 30 to 40 quid yeah not too bad at all here we go Ooh, it seems big you know oh. wow it's so spacious oh, it's lovely whoa this is so nice the size of the bed A little green seat. <gasps> wow! Let's check out what our view's like. Because they're on the other side then, aren't they? They are on the other side. We've got a view of the city. Look at the um, art. It looks so cool. Gosh, it's absolutely massive. Is it two singles, is it? Oh, let's have a look in the bathroom. Ooh! big as well. Toilet, walk-in shower. Let's have a look at that. And a nice big sink here. This is lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. It's really nice. Really nice. There's a safe, long mirror as well. There's this spare pillows and everything. Ironing board. As I sold the wardrobe, basically, yeah. Ooh, all right, let's see what mum and dad's is like. Hello. Knock, knock. Ooh. We are very impressed. Ooh, wow. this is very different, you know. Let's see what your window is like. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You've got a much nicer view. Well, we've got a city view. We've got all the buildings. All right. And you've got a lake view, <laughs> a river view. Oh, stunning. That is beautiful. Well, you have to do that again in the daytime. Though, yeah. You? Yeah, we've got the reflection of the room yeah. in here. This Looks lovely, though. Amazing. What a beautiful this city. Is this is the bar area. I love the lampshades. They're so cute. And this is where we'll have our breakfast tomorrow morning. So this is where we're staying. We've just come out. We're going to have a little walk around, get our bearings such a lovely city they have extensive bike lanes here so we're gonna find somewhere to eat there's a little food hall down here that we're gonna see if it's still open some of these places close early so we're just gonna wander around check things out see all the bikes going fast <laughs> Love it. we might do that we might hire a bike at some point on this trip i think that would be really cool look what the first shop we come across very danish we've got lego Oh, it's massive, Simon, look! <laughs> yeah, it's Danish, remember? So our hotel is situated right by Tivoli Gardens and also by the Central Station, so that's why we picked it. Unfortunately, Tivoli is closed while we're here. It's seasonal, so I think it opens again in April, which is such a shame. It's an amusement park and actually Tivoli Gardens inspired Disney, so I really would have loved to have gone, but never mind, that's just how it works. Oh, look at this! Cheers, everyone! Cheers. <laughs> there we go. 
we are walking back to the hotel now i haven't really been able to show you much tonight but i will show you a lot more of copenhagen tomorrow i promise it's my mom's birthday tomorrow we're doing a boat tour a bus tour we're going everywhere so i'll bring you along to that so we'll see you in the morning good morning from copenhagen and good morning from mom and dad's side of copenhagen look at the river you've got a lovely view here all the swans and the birds on the <gasps> Oh yeah! Breakfast! Oh, look at breakfast! Wow, it's scrambled egg and bacon. We've got to have one of those, haven't we? Scrambled eggs and herbs, and then we've got omelette, tomato relish, and baked beans. Oh, and what's this one? Scrambled egg with beef sausage from Danish Angus. Wow, beans and then liver pate from the Danish free range. Gosh, everyone, this breakfast. Look at this. Oh, is this, look at this cheese. Mum and dad are at the fruit. Very healthy of you. Oh yeah. And then over here we've got some bread and cereal. What are you getting? Some cornflakes. Oh, they've got little trays that you can take. We've got porridge. Oh, is this, this is the famous bread. Yeah. So they're famous rye bread. Look at that. I might try some of that. We've got some pastries. We've got croissants. Ooh, iced cinnamon swirls. Bread rolls. Some more fruit over there. And then we've got these cereals as well. Wow, this is so nice. How clever is this? So. Let's go for apple. Mm, okay, oh, that's so clever. Apple juice dispensing. Oh, and it slices it. That's so cool. My mum's wearing a birthday badge that I got for her. So the person that works here brought over these truffles. They did say the name of them in Danish, but I have forgotten. But they're like rum chocolate truffles. How nice of them. Good morning from Copenhagen. I'm gonna try and show you a lot more today. Out of Copenhagen, we're going to the harbor. We're gonna go and see the little mermaid statue. We're going on a boat tour. We're going on a bus tour. So come and join us to see all the sights. We have just got on one of these hop on hop off buses in Copenhagen. It's a 72 hour bus and we've got it to ourselves. Look at this. The roof is covered because it is, I think it's going to rain today. And here we are at the front. <laughs> so we just got off the bus at Nyhaven, which is New Harbour. It's the translation and it is the famous strip of colourful houses. Let me show you. seem to be bars and cafes can you imagine this in the summer i bet it's absolutely beautiful so the hop on hop off bus was 200 danish kroner so not too bad at all for three days worth of transport i thought it's really really good and it saves us on taxis and things as well because we can just hop on and hop off wherever we want around the city bus tickets gives us 20 percent off these boats so we're gonna go and do it do a little boat tour it's right here this is the brand that it is, Stroma. So our tickets were 158 Danish Krona and we're gonna be getting on this boat. Look at this view.
so we have come to one of these little cafes to have a nice hot drink it's a little bit cool out so we're gonna get a hot coffee I think my parents are getting an Irish coffee so we have come to this orange one there's a nice little cafe outside they've got heaters it's lovely and warm so I've got a hot chocolate it looks cold in this glass and mum and dad have got a Tullamore Dew Irish coffee and so is Simon <laughs> Happy birthday, Mum! <laughs> Cheers! Oh wow! That's so funny! A horse just came by. We've come into this very souvenir shop. There's some lovely things. Um, I am going to pick up a little house. This yellow one. How cute is that? No wonder this is one of the happiest towns, happy cities to live in. It's just absolutely beautiful. We are heading back onto the bus now and we're heading to the Little Mermaid statue. So the bus has just stopped us at the Little Mermaid statue. Even the little audio says how it's quite unassuming and small and disappointing but from the boat we saw like her bag. It didn't look that small. I'm right. looking forward to seeing this. Uh, so obviously Little Mermaid, it's written by Hans Christian Andersen and he was Danish, so that's why there's a statue here. Oh, here she is. Oh, it's not very busy actually. Can we get down there? <laughs> Let's get down. Yeah, it's quite steep. Here she is. That was great actually, the bus stayed here the whole duration as we took a few pictures at, at the uh, Little Mermaid. So we're going straight back onto the same bus. This is the bus. So that was really handy. So we've just got off the bus at Rosenborg Castle. Is it through here do you think? Yes, look at this! Wow! That is lovely. Oh, wow. That's so impressive. Oh, an guard. oh yeah, there's an armed guard. Yeah, it is a bit dark because we're against the sun. It's gorgeous. It's so impressive. And we're still right in the centre of Copenhagen. They just dropped us off here to the bus, and here we are. I love the red bricks. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So the tickets to get into Rosenberg are 125 Danish kroner. Look at the blue sky as well. Lovely. It looks like we've got some soldiers doing their drills over there. So this is his castle, King Christian the Fourth. So this is Christian's winter room apparently. Wow. Hidden Mickey. So this is Christian's writing room. That's him. And look at this desk. Gold desk. So this is King Christian's bedchamber. He actually died here. There's a painting of him. He died in this bedchamber and then the toilet is in here. And this was the toilet. This is called the Marble Chamber. Oh. oh, look at this. It's being conserved and it plays an orchestra and it says that it still plays it to this day. It's playing! Wow! This is the original music from the 1800s. Mm -hmm. That's so cool! So all these tapestries depict Christian V's victories in war against Sweden. 
Look at all the Danish flags on that one. Yeah, the throne. Oh gosh. So in here we've got the glass cabinet. This room is only one of its kind in the world. This is made of amber. Look at this, made of ivory. We're coming into the crown jewels now and it's this huge safe. <laughs> the door is just so big. Oh my gosh. It's like something you see out of Minority Report or Mission Impossible, isn't it? Look at this. So this is Christian the Third Sword, 1551. It was used in the coronations. Wow. Oh, Dad's found the crown. Oh, whoa, Dad. That's insane. Fantastic. Oh my gosh. This is Christian the Fourth's crown from 1596. So there's security as well. There's <laughs> that huge door. Look at all this gold and treasure. The combination is one, 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 one. <laughs> Into the same. Yeah. <laughs> but you do. That, don't you see in like minority report where people come down from Drop the from sea? The sea. <laughs> and, uh, oh, it's jewelry, earrings. We've got watches, pocket watches. These will be like uh, hairpins, won't they? Oh, yeah, like that. yeah, of course. They've got more crowns as well. Oh my gosh, this crown. Look at the jewels on the sides. Are the crowns of the absolute monarchy from 1671 to 1773? Yeah, there's two of them. Whoa. Wow, I highly recommend coming to Rosenberg Castle and having a look around. That was amazing. I didn't actually know what I was in for and it just blew me away. The treasure and the collections they have and the history that it tells you all about. Because obviously in, in English schools you don't really learn about Danish history. So it was just so interesting. I loved that. Highly recommend coming to do that. So just a short walk from Rosenberg Slot is this tower. It's called the Round Tower and you can go all the way up to the top and have a view of Copenhagen. So that's what we'll do next. So this is the church and then this is the Round Tower that we're going to go up. So it's just 40 to get up, which is amazing. So this tower, it's a spiral ramp all the way up. Uh, it was built in 16... 1642. 1642 and you're 34 meters above the street so we should get a really nice view from up there. And it's built flat like this, it's not steps. Yeah, so it's Horse. flat, let me show you the, the floor. So it's so that he, uh, it's so that horses can go up. Yeah, so the king can then uh, carry up by his horse. Yeah, this is what it's like, flat all the way up. Mum and Dad are racing ahead. Yeah, it's actually easier than having steps. Yeah, it's really easy to go up. Oh, people are running. It says on the blurb that Hans Christian Andersen used to come up here as well. Gosh, where's Mum and Dad? They're flying up. <laughs> they were a little bit ahead of us and now I can't find them. Oh, here they are. <laughs> you two got up here fast. <laughs> You're well ahead of us. Oh, the last little bit is a lot narrower and steeper. Here we go, we're at the top. Ooh. Yeah, we're at the top. Oh, cool. Look at this. Wow. So that was the castle that we've just been to with the green top there. Look at this view of Copenhagen. What a great view up here. Windy, but great.
great view. Oh. Coming down should be easier, shouldn't it? That was great. We climbed up to the top of there, had a lovely view of Copenhagen. And now we are heading to the Hard Rock Cafe to have dinner. I know, we're not eating in a Danish place tonight, but it is my mum's birthday and she always goes to Hard Rock on her birthday. We have been to so many over the years. Uh, it's just a tradition that we have a cocktail for mum's birthday there. So we're going to go there next, but I promise that we will get some Danish food while we're here. This is the city hall. We did walk past this last night. Tivoli entrance is over there. Um, and this is the Hard Rock. It's under construction right now, but you can still go in. Here we go then. Are we ready? Whoa. Yeah, it's open. Oh, it's quite a small one. Ooh, we'll have to look in the shop for a pin. Look, it's fairly sh Oh, there's an upstairs though. Hard Rock Cafe, there's a little uh, Danish flag here. Wowee. So, I've got a hurricane, and so have my mum and dad. They've both got hurricanes. Simon's got a Mai Tai, a passion fruit Mai Tai. Our appetizers have arrived. Ooh. Ready? Happy Cheers! Happy birthday, mum! <laughs> wow, they brought mum out a birthday Sunday. Make a wish, mum. <laughs> Well, the Hard Rock was amazing as usual. I bought two pins, they're so nice, I'll put them here. And we are walking back to the hotel now. So I'll pick you back up tomorrow. We're having a day trip to Sweden and then we've got our final day in Copenhagen. So I think this is gonna be a really long video. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it so far. I'll pick you back up in the morning. Morning, Copenhagen. You can see the Danish flag there in the wind. Good morning, we're here still in Copenhagen, but this morning we are heading to Sweden, which is so exciting. Denmark and Sweden are joined by this bridge. It's called the Urizunt Bridge. Sorry if I've said that wrong, um, but it links the two countries. So we're going to get the train across to Malmo today in Sweden so we can see what it's all about. So we get to do two new countries in one. Very excited about this. We're heading to the central station here in Copenhagen and it just takes the train takes you straight there. I'll show you the price and how much everything is. Look at all these bikes. We're here at the central station now. This is Tivoli here. You can see just the back of some of the rides, one of the roller coasters and Ferris wheels. There's the Tivoli food hall here as well. So we just got our ticket. It is uh, 292 Danish Corona return for two people and it's Copenhagen to Malmo. So this is our train. It is the sixth stop there, Malmo. This is the train that also goes to the airport as well. So this is where we are now. There's the airport and this is the bridge to Sweden. So let me zoom out and show you. So that's Malmo and there's Copenhagen. This is it, we're stepping foot out into Sweden. This is amazing. Hello Sweden. So we're here in Sweden, we've just come out of the central station here. We didn't have to show our passports or anything, which is a shame because I really wanted a Sweden stamp, um, but there we go. The Swedish buildings look so nice. We're just going to head straight into the center. We've looked on the map and we have booked already a place to get our Swedish meatballs. So we're going to get official Swedish meatballs here. That train was so easy, just 30 minutes. It was 17 pounds each return so we just come back here later on today to get back to Copenhagen we couldn't see the the actual bridge because it's a straight bridge but it is the longest rail and car bridge in Europe it was five miles long we just zoomed by on it it was so cool so that's the central station and we're just heading down here into the main
coming into an espresso house and there were a few of these in Denmark as well so we're gonna see how it is Chocolate ball. We've got our hot drinks. It was very cold outside, so this is much needed. So we just realized that the espresso house we just went to here is next door to Amando Steakhouse. <laughs> We're in Sweden. I can't even believe that, it's mental. Uh, we are walking towards a market and then there is a, a park called King's Park. So we're gonna have a little walk around there. Look at these buildings. We found this square here. Yeah, the buildings are incredible. So we've just come into the King's Park. We've looked on the map and apparently it's a King Oscar. So we're in his park right now. Uh, there's some nice statues and things. Um, you can see the Turning Torso building. So that building is quite famous in Malmo. I'll show you it when we get a better view. It's in between trees right now. We've got people here in there with their packed lunches. Look at this windmill. Oh, we stumbled into Amsterdam. <laughs> so this is the tower. It's called Turning Torso. Someone called Gustav Rydberg. <laughs> Got the turning tower behind him and a crane. Here's a map of the park. It's like a back backwards L. How Stadu, you are here. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a view of a crane, but there's a better view of the turning torso tower. Yeah, the lake has frozen over. That's how cold it is, everyone. <laughs> and that's what we get for having a mum whose birthday is in February. <laughs> we always go somewhere and it's always freezing. <laughs> so this is the Malmo Library. This lake's frozen as well. There's a bird just standing on it. Bird stand on the water. Yeah. <laughs> this guy. Oh, he's ice skating. We are heading to our meatball place now. So if you Google best meatballs in Malmo, it comes up as number one. It's called Bullen. So we made a reservation while we were at home. We're ready for these meatballs. This is it then, Bullen. Oh. We have this table here. Look, we've got a Swedish flag here on the table. Right, let's look at the menu. So this is it, the famous meatballs, lingonberries, mash. We are very excited. Wow, thank you. Wow, the food is arriving. We've got all the meatballs, lingonberries, cucumbers. <gasps> mashed potato thank you meatballs wow this looks amazing and then simon's meatballs are coming thank you look at these wowie look at the size of the mash <laughs> we just had the best meatballs amazing. it was best. so good we just had the best meal we just savoured and enjoyed every bite of that. There was just this different taste that the meat had and the sauce, the gravy, had this different taste. There was whiskey in it, but it wasn't that. There was just something else that made it so, so special. So I highly recommend going to Bulen if you're ever in Malmo in Sweden got to try it it's so so good you've got to book as well yeah oh yeah make sure you book because while we were there they were turning people away it was so busy so definitely book and definitely go it's delicious oh look there's hearts in the tree for valentine's day how cute are the swedes we found a swedish cathedral we're gonna see if we can go in have a look at it inside. This is just on the way back to the train station now. The train station is just straight ahead. We have had 
a lovely day trip here in Malmo. We are heading back now to Central Station and back to Copenhagen before it goes dark. It's quarter past three. Uh, we want to see the harbour area in Copenhagen as it goes dark. So that is the plan for this evening. So I'll pick you back up in Copenhagen after this train journey. <laughs> Just like that, we're back in Copenhagen. <laughs> we got off the train, jumped onto the bus to head to Nyhaven because we're back to the harbour where all those famous houses are because um, we just want to see what it's like as it's going dark. Apparently they have some nice lights and things like that. Oh, look at this hot chocolate. I've got a biscuit. Oh, yeah. My second one. Not today. Second one in general. We've come back for Irish whiskies. We're sitting in the cold with our with our rugs, and there's a fire here, and we've got the views of the little houses, and we are watching the sun go down. You've got a biscuit. <laughs> In my oh my word. Is it strong? I think it's stronger than yesterday. <laughs> so that was lovely sitting there. Very cold though. And we're just walking down the harbour. They've got all these lights on the boats. Looks very pretty. Right, I'm going to leave you here at Nyhaven and I'll pick you back up tomorrow for our last day in Copenhagen. So I was just staring at this beautiful morning Copenhagen sky and I was looking here, you can see Tivoli Gardens, there's some of the rides there and the tracks. Then I had a closer look here and look, it's the Oresund Bridge that took us to Sweden yesterday. Clear view, that's amazing! Has anyone ever seen The Bridge? It's a TV show and they find a body in the middle of it. So it's halfway in Sweden and halfway in Denmark. I've watched a pilot, it was really good. Good morning everyone, hope you're all doing okay. We are here on our last day at Copenhagen and we are actually walking to Emiliansborg Palace which is the Queen's Palace so looking forward to seeing that. You can't actually go in uh, but they change the guards at midday every day so we're going to have a look at that and then we're heading to this famous food hall that we've not been to that side of town yet so I'll show you all of that. We're going to try some Danish food, some real Danish food and we are going to what's apparently one of the best coffee shops in the world. If you google it it's in the top 10. <laughs> so we're going to go to that, it's called Coffee Collective and then tonight we are going to the airport. We fly home this evening. So we're here at the town hall and just next to the town hall we've got Hans Christian Andersen himself looking out, thinking of some more fairy tales. Oh yeah, look! Scan with your cell phone and you can hear him talk. That's so clever. Should we do it? So we're back at this square and then the colourful houses, Nyhaven, are just here. And we're going to walk alongside, well, we're walking behind them, aren't we, to get to a Millions Book Palace. So what happens is every day the soldiers at Rosenberg slot swap with Emiliansburg and I can hear them, they're behind us now as we head towards Emiliansburg and hopefully we'll be able to watch them swap out so you can just hear the band, I don't know if you can hear that if you hear that sort of little flute or piccolo or something hopefully we can get there in time because they're <laughs> creeping up on us and uh, yeah we can watch it all happen the whole ceremony so this is Friedrichs church 
and it is also known as the Marble Church. It was meant to have completely have been made out of marble. Looks like a little crowd has gathered for the changing of the guard. So this square is four palaces looking out at each other. <gasps> here they come, here they come. sort of hexagon. The Millions Borg is in the middle of these four palaces. So it's Ninth. Christian 7, 8 and 9 and, and Frederick. Frederick. So that was a Millionsburg palace and the changing of the guards. That was so interesting. So we're walking now, we're at the harbour. So we're just walking along this harbour. This is where the Little Mermaid is up here. And we're going to meet the sightseeing bus. My mum and dad are on that right now. We've got a copy of David here who we saw in Florence. I think this is a museum, yeah. It's a National Gallery of Denmark. So we're here at Geffen's Fountain and Church, waiting for the bus. Oh, I think it's just come in. So mom and dad should hopefully be on this bus right now. We're gonna surprise them. So we have made it to here, Torva Halerna, and it is a food market. So we're gonna check out the food and they've also got an amazing coffee shop here as well. So it looks like there's two sides. You've got this side, then sort of fresh produce on down the middle, and then another food hall on this side as well. So we'll check out this one first, shall we? Oh, we've got a French patisserie as you come in. Oh, and look at this. Look at these cakes. For Valentine's Day. Yeah. Oh, look at those. Oh, we've seen these a few times. Yeah. Like chocolate balls. Look at all the cream in these cakes are unbelievable. Look at these. I think they're, are they marshmallow? Marshmallow. They look amazing. Oh, there's coconut. These are the flavors. So this must be what they're called. Fleur de beurre. I think I might try the classic, see what it tastes like. You probably like the coconut. Yeah. This is so cool. We've got a fresh market here. Fruit and juice. Oh, look at this salad. Oh, that looks so good. So fresh. And what have we got here? Oils. Are they oils? No, liquor. It's liquor. Yeah, Whisker, cognac, schnapps. Little chocolate shop. Oh, they look nice. Now this is the famous coffee shop. It's called Coffee Collective. And it's meant to be the best coffee. One of the best coffees in the world. So we're definitely getting a coffee from there. Oh, look at the cakes. Wedding cakes. Wow. So we're coming into the other side now. So, Hallio. Oh, look at all these cheeses. I feel like this is a bit more uh, savory. There's not as many. Yeah. It's meats, fish, cheese. Whoa. Here's your smooth bread. You, we really want to try this proper Danish. Open Look sandwich. at the queue as well for it. It must be really good. Proper, yeah, open sandwiches. See if I can get um, a closer look. That's a little look at what the open sandwiches look like. Got more cheese. Fish salad. Fish salad. That looks good. 
These are more little fish yeah, snacks. Like fish. Wow. Ooh, Boutique fish. Yeah, that's the thing. So there's a lot of, there's the main row of shops, but then they have other ones on the other side as well. So definitely check those out too. Don't miss those. And we've got sushi at the end here and what's this spanish tapas this is quite a busy one oh cool this, this place is amazing whatever you want they have basically the choice here is insane so we're here at the smurfrut this is the menu and then have a look at these sandwiches they look amazing Never seen anything like it. Really. They're like it's like a work of art, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. So we're gonna share one, and then you're getting a fishy one, aren't you? So Sam's getting this fish fillet one. And then we're gonna share this roast beef one as well. So that was the beef one. And um, what's your fish one? Oh, it's that one. So we've just come out of the food hall to have our smurra bread. Basically, this word means bread and butter. Yes. So that's Simon's fish one, that's our roast beef. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try these. Real Danish food. <laughs> and Simon's really enjoying his fish smurabrud. <laughs> so much so, he just said a sentence of gobbledygook <laughs> about how good it was. Oh my gosh, that roast beef was delicious. And Simon said the fish was even nicer than the roast beef. So fish lovers out there, you're gonna love those sandwiches. Simon's picking up one of these pistachio chocolate balls. They're basically uh, just like a brownie inside, he says. They've got salted caramel as well, raspberry, oh, and coconut. I love that. To travel is to live. I've gone for this cheese empanada. I think it's smoked cheese and ham. Wow, this is so good. I've gone for a coffee collective hot chocolate. Sam's got a cortado. And then I bought one of these fleur de butters. I just got the classic flavour. Ooh, I can't wait to try this. Let's have a look at this, shall we? Oh my god. <gasps> Whoa, look at that cream. I'm making a right mess. There we go. Look at that. This is so tasty. So this bit is marzipan. This is a quite bitter actually. It's quite a dark chocolate. And then the, the vanilla is so yummy. So I just got this fat Condi, I think it's a bit like a Sprite. It tastes like an all white oh, lemonade, like lemonade yeah. yeah. And then I also bought these. So these marabou are in the Norwegian pavilion. That's where I first had them. But they're actually Swedish chocolate. Uh, I've got the caramel and the milk. I got the mint one as well. I'll put a clip of that in here. They're so good. So I'm just stocking up, taking them home with us. So we've just popped into the Starbucks to see what the You Are Here mugs are like. So we've got Copenhagen, we're gonna have to get that. And we've got Denmark as well. There's a mini one as well. Better view of Tivoli. Yeah, so this was the inspiration for Disneyland in California. Walt well, Disney came here. So we're back on the... <laughs> We're back on the hop on, hop off buses. It's been really handy because the tickets are valid for 72 hours. We've basically just used them as a taxi service. So we're back on them now. We're doing a last look at Nyhaven just to soak it all in one last time before we head back to the airport. Oh, one last look at these houses before we go. I love it. It's so quaint.
Well, I thought I'd finish this Copenhagen vlog walking down this famous road. I really hope you enjoyed seeing Copenhagen and seeing Malmo in Sweden as well. We've had such a good trip. Stay tuned for some more adventures and please like this video if you did. It really helps my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time. Bye!